This is Shirar TV. Hi, my name is Misha Wollegrain. And I'm Shannon Isaac. Today we have an extra special bulletin for you. Every now and again, your art takes part in some very special events, and this week is one of those times. Your art college was honored to be chosen to host His Royal Highness, the Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, Chair of the Board of Trustees for Duke of Edinburgh International Awards Foundation. Acknowledging the 60th anniversary of the award in Australia this week, your art college captains, Misha Wollegrain, Daniel Campbell, and Chanel Henderson, Welcome and escorted His Royal Highness and official guests around our campus. They visited the Digital Technology Room and were welcomed by Yara Girls Academy and Clontarf staff and students. Then onto the guitar workshop where His Royal Highness and members of the official party spoke with the students in progress of guitar building. His Royal Highness and the official parties were welcomed into the chapel by participants of the Jukabed program from Makesh Gul, Centralian Tunia College. A Lady of the Sacred Heart College, St. Philip's College, and Yuara College. Each school had the opportunity to share their participation. Have you met any other members of the royal family before? Or? No, I haven't. No? Would you like to meet the rest of them as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess what's it like uh, you know, showing a member of the royal family around the school? Uh, it's, been a, um, it's been a big um, for me. And um, to show them around the school, you know, it's something I'm really proud of. His Royal Highness was easy to talk to and was really interested in all the things we were doing as we worked towards our awards. An important part of our electives is where we learn real world skills we can continue use after we leave school. Teams of different students have taken part in getting a car ready to sell. This has included visiting a local mechanic who showed us the many things we need to do to help a car be safe, road legal and ready. We took it to the garage and was checking the engine and the tires, checking on the blinkers and the lights, and brakes, and the brakes, and the, got a new um, windscreen wipers and a, and a new tires. Hello, we are here. We selling this car for um, three thousand dollars, and we're putting it on Facebook and Gumtree. And the money will go towards our next car project. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> no. Last Thursday, some of our ladies went to the town library as a part of the NTC Integrated Learning Subject. They had a tour of the library and were shown some of the robotics equipment that they use to educate the community about STEM. One of the many outings we do each week was learn about how local government works. A number of schools took part in an amazing race with the difference. To earn points, we had some worksheets we used to run Alice, visiting many places that help Alice and the Northern Territory run. We started in our local shopping plaza and ended up at a town council launch after many stops along the way. My name's Leon Chuk, I'm the Regional Youth Programs Coordinator with the Department of Chief Minister. So. It was a fun way to learn and meet many people that work behind the scenes to help our government to work well. Each year, Girls Academy hold a quiz night fundraiser to raise money for the senior girls end of year camp. We had a record number of 13 teams register for the event, which was fantastic. Many of the girls had on the night, and Daniel Campbell was a great MC. 
congratulations to Miss Sophie's team, the quizzers of us, who were the winning team on the night. They took home the winner's gift basket, which had $900 worth of badges. The Girls Academy would love to thank all, the, all of our sponsors who generously donated gifts and badges. Overall, we raised $1,673 towards our end of year camp. It was a fantastic night and everyone enjoyed themselves. After almost four years, we are sad to say farewell to Miss Bebb. Miss Bebb started the Girls Academy program at Royal College in 2016 and we thank her for all she has done for us. Since then she's made an absolutely huge impact um, on the college and in ladies in particular. She's a strong, proud woman, is our Bev, and she's instilled those values in our students here. And uh, Bev was one that had uh, impressed me immensely. She was confident, she was knowledgeable, she was assured, Firstly, Danielle, thank you so much, Bob, for organising this. I didn't want a farewell. Um, and then um, she asked me if she could put one on, and I said yes. But um, to Yarara College, thank you for um, giving me the opportunity to share some of my skills and um, pass on some of my knowledge, the little bit that I do know in setting up this program. A big thank you to Roger for giving me the um, space and the room and the flexibility to set it up the way I could see it being. Because our kids deserve the best to you girls. Never let anyone tell you that you can't. Never let anyone tell you that you're not good enough because you are special. You are important. You deserve the best and you will go on and achieve. Because I've seen the beauty and the goodness in each and every one of you. Bev, I want to thank you for everything you've done here at Urara. You built the Girls Academy program from the ground up. All that hard work paid off. You have such a strong conviction in what you do and you don't ever compromise for what you believe in. It has set an example for our students and our staff. We were just learning, going along, you know, she was fantastic. Thank you for being there and, and supporting me as well. And thank you all. And although she says goodbye to your college, we are sure we will still see her around Alice Springs. Thanks, Thanks Ms. Ms. Babb. Babb. Some of our fellas are way up north at a Clontarf camp this week, but it looks like they are having fun. Go, 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 to celebrate the achievement of girls in the academy program, congratulations to all the winners. That's, That's the last, last bulletin, bulletin for Term 4 as we take a few weeks off. We look forward to sharing more about fun, fun adventures, adventures while, while learning at Dura. See, See you next time. Bye! Bye.